No, they have a very characteristic. Oh yeah, they're small around. They look like giant rabbit poops. Yeah. This kind of this kind of stone is like probably scale. yeah, it's probably useful to the original inhabitants for making arrowheads. Mm. Well, the original forest that we found here actually had lots of open space because the natives periodically burned the undergrowth. Right. While the larger trees, like the oaks and stuff, their thick barks could withstand the minor nuisance of relatively low temperature fires. So one of the, the early colonials upon arriving were impressed by the almost park-like quality hmm. of the woods. Although up in the northern boreal zones, that wouldn't be well, what true. what found was that there was basically an empty land. <laughs> well, that's what they... didn't know why it was empty. There were buildings and everything and all kinds of things, and they had no idea why it was all empty. Well, that, yeah, the people had been wiped out by a smallpox. Right, in like 16, 16 problem from the prior encounter with fishermen. Right. Yep. That's what happened. Over 90% of the Indians in the area was said to be wiped out, I believe. Yeah. And a turn is indicated, so we shall attend to the instructions. Now we're back on an old carriage road or some such thing, cart path. Momentary sog zone. Mm -hmm. Ah, this would be our Rocky Narrows yeah, formation. It's right over here. Oh, it is. Oh, this is it. I just recognized the pooch tracks from the okay. Hausfrau Maven dog squad that we encountered earlier. And here we are at the main attraction of this particular trail stretch. And we'll pause. This goes all the way to Newton eventually. And this comes to its end shortly, just down here.
this is the real pinch point of Rocky Narrows. We got the opposite side is the trustees of reservation property and over there is the Bay Circuit Trail which we're going to take a look at later today. Circumstances permitting. And this will be our way out. There's another nice little bluff right over here. We came from that direction, which will eventually bring you to Newton. <coughs> We're going this way, which brings us to our junction with the Bay Circuit Trail. Right. And so the more entertaining rock formation is this thing, which is great fun to sit on. And the trail, does it wind this way, isn't it? I believe it does. Yeah, we'll be going this way. Mm -hmm. okay. There's even a little campfire. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's the worst dog I know. Sure beats working. <laughs> Save my whole life away. How can I get somebody to pay me to do this? You can't. I know. It's what best as I know. But I'll do it anyway. It's simple public service. That's a right. white oak. This reminds me of uh, what? The Saconet River there? From Bridgewater? Oh, the East Bridgewater. Yeah, that was the little Saconet little yeah. thing there that was. Yeah, that was one of our better runs. Hmm. Look at the gouging. Yeah. Ah, now we're rejoining the cart path, and if I'm not mistaken, this is pretty much the relatively easy run <coughs> back to the entrance. I believe so. <clears throat> so we just go down this long and winding road here. And there is definitely a song in there. And before you know it, another traverse of the growing and thoroughly outstanding trail system emerging in eastern Massachusetts will be committed to documentation.